so that's you know that's the kind of music we we, we were listening to when yeah. we were kids, and then it kind of uh, developed into the Beatles and Eric Clapton and people like that, and and of course Chet was always there, Mel Travis uh, and, and Jerry Reed. Even back then, when we were just kids, straight away I wanted to play lead, and Tommy wanted to play rhythm. He loved playing the rhythm guitar. Let's see. Uh, so I used to learn all those parts and try to make them sound big. And, and, and Phil used to do all the lead bits, you know. We, we actually had no bass player, so, so I used to do all the bass parts. So. And, and that's kind of, I think, how I got onto the idea of, of, of playing the, the bass with the melody and all that stuff, you know. Out of necessity. After he'd been playing rhythm for a few years, he used to start using his thumb over the top. And of course, we, we, we used to be told that it's not, it's not done to, to put your thumb over the top. You do not use your thumb when you play a guitar. You, know, you, sh you should use your fingers and your thumb should be behind the neck. And Tom used to play the bass line with his thumb while he was playing rhythm. And it used to make a lot of difference to the rhythm and really add to the feel of the song. And after a while, our, our father eventually said, look, don't be worried about using your thumb. It's a part of your hand. It's that, that's your body. That's your playing the instrument with your body. You can use your thumb, you know. Who, did, who said you can't, you know? We just read it somewhere. And um, that's, that was the, the beginning of his really good rhythm playing. He, he's rock solid rhythm player. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, there was a, a chap in town in uh, Ganada that played a Hawaiian steel and uh, uh, he showed me uh, a little bit. I got one.